Hello everyone. In this video, we will just show you how to insert data using an entry forum. Okay, this is an entry forum that I have created. We will create a forum like this and by saving by clicking this button, we will just save a record use in this table. Okay, we have created a table in a separate sheet and we have um, an entry forum and we will enter data in this forum by pressing this save button. The data will be saved in this uh, uh, table. So let's uh, just uh, uh, save a record. Khalid, Umar and city is LL and date 23 and fee 400 registration number 221 and course name basic of PC. Let's press the save button. Let's check it now. Say Khalil Omar and these basic of uh, PC the record has inserted successfully. So we will perform the same uh, thing, the same task as we did now. So we first of all we will create this forum and then we will perform this functionality to transfer data from that forum to this table. So let's get started. So this is the Excel file which I have opened. So I have already created this one record. Okay, to create that uh, forum to automatically insert the data to this table. This is the table that we have created. Okay, we will automatically enter data from this sheet to this sheet one. Okay, we will create a forum now here. So I have already written just the field, the column names. So these are our names. So now let's design it. Okay, to make to looks better. So for that, uh, I will just increase the size of this and let's make it like this and insert a dot column here and just select it and move it to the center and it looks like this and also increase the size of this okay just select this increase the size and change the color yeah the color is okay just bold it it looks like this now just copy this and come here down and paste it here in all cells after that select these rows and increase the size of them okay just make yeah it is too wider so make like this yeah it looks like better now let's increase the size of this field also where we will enter our data these are our input fields let's select these fields and add border to this just come here and apply all border on these and we will create a button also so to create a button just we should first of all on this developer tab so to um, on this developer by default it is uh, disabled you cannot see it here on the menus so just right click and this okay uh, bar ribbon bar and this bar okay after whenever you right click in this space and this uh, empty area you will see this customize uh, the ribbon okay customize the ribbon select this one after selecting that just select this developer okay check it and press ok so the developer uh, um, menu it will come here so after coming it so just come here and insert so we will insert a button now okay this is a button with us let's select this one and just come here we will insert a button here the name of the button that is uh, uh, like save record okay we will use that for save okay Let's increase the size of this button. Move it to the top. Let's assign a name, save. Right click and uh, format control. And just come here to change the button. This is the color. Just let's make 12 or 14 and make it bold. Press OK. Sorry, why it is it has changed? Save. So this is our save button. So after creating the button, but this design uh, doesn't look very well. So let's click here and insert a row on the top of this. 
insert sheet row i will insert um, uh, a row between these um, rows okay uh, i have inserted rows okay now let's bo remove the border from these cells select no border and after that just uh, move them to the top to decrease let's control z it and just select these rows press control select this one press control select this one press control this one press control this one and also this one after selecting them just decrease the size of them they will looks like this yeah it is okay now Oh, let's add uh, the whole border to this. All borders. So now let's move to the view menu, view tab, and um, uncheck these grid lines. So after I unchecking the grid lines, it looks like this. So now we will start our OK whenever we enter the data in these um, input forums. So by pressing this save button, we will uh, save the record in this uh, table. OK, now one thing that you should uh, um, keep in mind that you should already have a record. OK, insert a record before um, everything after inserting the record. Now let's start our work to insert data to ship data to that sheet. So let's insert a record. And the fees, for example, 208, registration number, and also course, mass. So now let's uh, uh, um, move to the developer tab. And here we will use now these two options, record micro and use relative reference. So let's first of all record a micro. So to record a micro, just cl click on this option, record a micro, assign a name to this save data for example okay to this workbook and press ok after that uh, copy this first cell okay control c copy this and come to the sheet one and after that click here after that press control down arrow okay it will come to the record after that use this option okay check this option use relative reference after that come down by arrow pressing down arrow come down and paste the data after pasting, pasting the data just come here and press the right arrow now after pressing the right arrow it came to the right side and uncheck this option ok after unchecking this option come here to the sheet 2 again and copy this cell now after copying this cell come here to the sheet 1 and paste it here after pasting it Turn on this, okay, click this use relative reference and come to the right side. Then uncheck this, okay, this option and come here to the sheet 2. Copy this data, sheet 1, paste it, turn on the use relative reference, again right arrow and again check this one, uncheck this one and copy this data, come to the sheet 1 paste it and again check this and come to the right side and after that uh, uncheck this come here and copy this data paste it is relative come here uncheck it we will do it for all cells copy paste it here come here down to begin to the right side come to the sheet 2 select this all data delete it and then close the macro stop macro after stopping the records we should assign that macro now to this button okay 
right click on this button and assign assign macro and select this save data and press ok so now let's insert a new record Let's press the save button. Let's check it. See the record has inserted successfully. Okay. But whenever we press the save button, so it loaded. So let's remove that load. Okay. Whenever we press the save button, it loads the Excel file. So for removing that button, come here to the developer tab and select this visual basic. After selecting visual basic, come press on this module and this module one, double click on this. We will come here and down write application dot screen updating is equal to false. So now let's save this file. Okay, let's save it. We should save it as micro enabled. Okay, this second option Excel micro enabled workbook. Press this one. Insert a name uh, that is uh, transfer data. Save it. After saving it, let's go. Now let's insert another record. A zip con twenty-three and fee course name computer press the save button. See the Excel file file is not loaded and now let's check it sheet one. See the third record also has added successfully. So it was all about creating an entry um, a user forum, an uh, entry forum and inserting data from a forum to the another sheet. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.